with and with is Shipra Professor MC Eve Marie King with a message for Sino, aka Jamal Halali. I know there may have been an issue with you getting in your feelings, no disrespect, and sending me a direct message about taking down the rich and rotten postings that I have up. Are you kidding me? I bought four thousand dollars in clothing, jewelry, held I bought the lifestyle too. Where am I supposed to wear the clothes? Before I even came out there, my brother, I was rocking shirt kings, whatever urban gear I liked. I come to your store and I buy four thousand dollars in clothing, and I told you and Mr. Diaz that I was starting a campaign. I gave him a hundred dollar bill, and he passed it to his girlfriend. And we did the photo shoot in your store. People are damn near chasing me around for your clothes, right in there, Instagram me. Look at my Instagram. You see how many people want those clothes. Open up a booth at the Jamaica Coliseum. Let the young, young get the clothing. I have five established businesses that want rich and rotten clothing. I have a barbershop, King and Boulevard Barbershop. They want to post in the barbershop. I represent them. Pro Bono. I have Vibes Restaurant and Bar and Lounge, a two floor complex in Jamaican Queens, Vibes, New York.com. V I B E S N E W Y O R K.com. That want your poster in their stores. And they have a second restaurant that they open in April on Merrick Boulevard and Basie Boulevard. That's both in Southside Jamaican Queens. We are the first black middle class in New York. We buy clothes, we shop, we get fly, we don't, you know, get fly, I should say. We don't get fly, we stay fly, we are fly. We stay fly, we want clothing. They see the Richard Ryan hat, the trillion hat, they want one. They can't have mine. I gave away a whole bunch of my stuff. I got Grady's liquor store, Gary at Grady's liquor store, which has been around since the sixties. He put it on my Instagram. Go look. Eva Marie King. E V A M A R I E K I N G. I want that white leather hat with the red lettering. He wants that. So what you mad at me for? I'm rocking my four thousand dollars in jewelry and clothing like I'm supposed to. Now it's time for you to step up your game. Perhaps you didn't plan on it coming to New York the way it did, but South Side Jamaica Queen is a is a historical hip hop town. Now you said you was for the culture, and I'm sure you are, Mr. Sino, but you got to step up your game as a businessman. Children are about to go back to school. They want to rock rich and rotten. Not when you go through Dallas and Houston and Florida and New York. No, I'm in New York rocking your shit as a founder of the culture of hip hop. I'm in the community, and folks want it. They ain't trying to, oh, let me go order online. They want to know what it feel like. They want to know what it look like. I recommend you open a booth in the Jamaican Coliseum. That's where the Shirt King started. The Shirt King started Urban Hip Hop Year in 1986 at the Jamaican Coliseum. That's why I came to your store, because Shirt King Academy was there. One of the original Shirt Kings, Edwin Sakasa, had Shirt King's Academy prior to Rich and Rotten taking over that 6363 Hollywood Boulevard. His name is Faye. He's a graffiti artist. P H A D. Edwin Sakasa, E D W I N S A C A S A. That's who had the business at your location at 6363 Hollywood Boulevard prior to opening the store. That's why I came there looking for him and I saw Richard Brown and I just balled out and bought $3,200 worth of clothing. And TK, who I did a photo shoot with on the day of drive, won't return my calls, won't answer my emails, and I have all of his photographic images for him to send him. And he acting funny style. I have all these videos and photographs of you, and I need to really put them out in a proper manner to get the interest and do the correct public relations and media relations. Keep in mind, I have an advanced degree in public relations. I'm not just making this up. So in closing, you need to get that bitch and rotten out here. Because folks want it. I have five businesses that want rich and rotten entrepreneurs that are doing extremely well in their business. And out of those five businesses, three of them want the posters in their stores. If you don't want to make them a poster and put it, I want to put a poster of me rocking rich and rotten, promoting my damn self. So that's on you. But either way, black folk gonna learn about it. I'm a community leader. 
I am an elder in the hip hop community. You may not know of me because I'm older than you. You don't know about the movement. You know the recording artists, I'm sure. But when once Mr. Cheeks from the Lost Boys and all of our hip hop legends, youngins, pioneers come through and see that poster, they're going to want Rich and Rotten too. So the East Coast has one way of doing business. The West Coast has another way of doing business. But at the bottom line, every quarter you want to see your sales increase. I am Eva Marie King, E-V-A-M-A-R-I-E-K-I-N-G, the self-appointed chief media and public relations specialist, consultant, and writer for Hamar Jalali. And we're going to the Iranian consulate. And when you come to New York, we throw it down. We're partying at the 4040 Club. That's the club that Jay-Z is uh, an investor or part owner in, in Manhattan. And we're partying at Vibes. We bring you in as a leader of the hip hop community. You ain't coming in and, you know, you got to go to the club and buy, drink and all that. No, we're coming in celebrating. So that's how we do. We've been doing this forever. I'm 52. I've been down as a fly girl since I was five. So when you come to my town, we're going to toss it up. We're going to make sure you're recognized by our local elected officials. We are not playing. This is not some, oh, I'm trying to take your campaign in another direction. It's too late for that. It's already been taken into another direction. When I start rocking it every day, I'm giving the hats and T-shirts to the owner's wife at Vibes, First Lady Keisha, to a brother by the name of Luke R. Stephan, who's a filmmaker, who's general manager at Vibes. These people travel around the world. Like, Vibes is a franchise that's going to be all over the world. And it's doing extremely well in the community. It's a two-floor complex, big upstairs club, downstairs, everyday restaurant. They got a club downstairs. All of the heads come through there. Kid Capri and DJ Envy and DJ Preen is the house DJ. And I bring all of the pioneer women in hip-hop there. So let's do this. Rock on, see you next. Peace.